Hello and welcome to this week's Walkthrough Wednesday. I'm Matt Landers and I'm going to be teaching you how to use Visual Studio Code to write C-sharp apps on a Mac. Now, it's pretty cool. If you've already got Visual Studio installed, which if you've done anything with us before, you probably do have Visual Studio Code already there. But whenever you install that, it actually installs the .NET Core framework for you. So you have everything that you need just about to run C-sharp apps on your, on your computer, but you may need an extension for Visual Studio as well. So let's go into that. So I'm in Visual Studio. If I hit Command Shift P on a Windows, you can hit Command Control Shift P. Uh, you can pull up this window here and start typing extensions and it'll be the first thing in the list. And then if you type C Sharp in the list for extensions, it will find one from Microsoft. Uh, powered by OmniSharp, and this will enable you to use C Sharp within Visual Studio Code. So you get things like IntelliSense, debugging, and all kind of cool stuff. So let's check it out. I've already got it installed, but just click install here, and when it's done, click reload. I'm going to close that out, and I'm going to go to the command line. So whenever you um, whenever you install Visual Studio Code, you get a new command line utility called .NET. And this will help us create projects, you know, run projects, build projects, and package them for NuGet as well. So let's go ahead and create one. I'm going to create a console app. So I'm going to say .NET new um, console. And I'll just say a dash O for the out. And that's what directory it's going to put it in. I'm going to say um, demo console. And it will go out and create this project for me. Now I'm going to go into the directory, demo console, and I'll show you what's in here. So there's a program.cs file, a csproj file, and an obj directory. Now, <clears throat> by default, we've got everything that we need really in the cs file, and we actually can use something else that's on your command line, csc, which is the sharp, C Sharp compiler, and compile the program.cs right here. Now that's going to go out and compile this program, which is just a hello world console app. And when I list out the files now, I see a program.exe. Now, if you're on a Mac and you try to run that, nothing's going to happen. Mac doesn't know how to run executables. Uh, but if you're on Windows, that will run and spit out Hello World. On Mac, though, we can use Mono, which is the cross-platform .NET framework that we're using, and program.exe. And it will run it and Hello World will spit out. So this is working. We're running C Sharp. We've compiled it all on our uh, on our Mac using Visual Studio Code. And we actually haven't used Visual Studio Code yet. So let's do that so we can see what the code looks like. So just say code dot right here and that will open it up in Visual Studio Code. And let's see what we got. So we have our program.cs file, which is all that we really need. We also have a csproj file here. And this is it. It's just a console that right line now. Let's look at some other cool stuff we can do here. Now, this little thing here, wherever it is near me, is going to pop up. And it's going to say, do you want to install some assets to allow the extension to work? And you want to just click yes there. And that'll allow us to do some cool debugging stuff in here. So watch this fun stuff. So if we want to create, I'm just create a message here. Just make this a little bit different. Say hello, Matt. And then we'll output that message down here but it's pretty cool everything's already set up for you for debugging so I'm gonna put a breakpoint here on line 9 and I'm gonna go up to and I save this and I'm gonna go to debug start debugging you can also just hit F5 and it's gonna go and it's gonna build this project and it's going to run me up to that line to where I have the debug breakpoint now if you've used Visual Studio before you're used to debugging like this if you've done Node, you may or may not have done this, but you can do it in JavaScript as well. And what we're going to see is our local variables over here. Message is null because it gets hoisted to the top. Uh, but whenever I run the next line, so I can say step over, so F10, you'll see that it updates over here. So now message is hello world. I can hover over it. I get all this cool stuff inside Visual Studio Code. It's pretty awesome using C Sharp. And I'll just run that through, and you'll see hello Matt pops out down here. And just to show you, if I type like console dot, it's got all the different things with IntelliSense that I can do with that as well. So this is really cool. 
that I can do this straight within Visual Studio Code on a Mac. Now, this is just the console app, so that's really, really simple example. Let's do something a little more complex. So I'll close this one out. I'm gonna go back to my console and get out of this folder. And I'm gonna say .NET new uh, MVC, and this is for an ASP.NET MVC application. I'm gonna say no authentication, because it's a website that you can say, hey, give me some authentication right in the beginning. I'm just gonna say skip that. Um, and I'm gonna output it to demo MVC. And this is gonna create a little bit more complex of an application, which is pretty cool that I can do right here on a Mac, cross-platform, and then edit it using Visual Studio Code. So it's gonna create that, and I'm gonna go into that directory and open it up. So I'm gonna go to demo, uh, what was it, MVC. And see that we got all these stuff in here, but let's open it in Visual Studio Code so it's easy to see. And look at this, we've got a ton of different stuff in here. We have our startup, it's our typical MVC stuff. We've got our views, so this is using Razor syntax and CS HTML. Uh, so you can use C Sharp in an HTML file, but a server side rendered. Uh, but we could do React here as well or something else. Uh, and it's got our controllers, our C Sharp controllers, which look a little more intense than our little console app. And if you don't know ASP.NET, none of this is going to make sense to you, but that's okay. I'm going to show you that it runs. So without doing anything, you can just say debug, start debugging. And it's going to go ahead and build this project. And that'll take a second. There's a lot for it to build in this particular case. And then it's going to pop up a browser with my site in it. So let's check it out. A little slow but it's just building all of the different libraries that are connected to ASP.NET. And the first time will be slower than all the other subsequent times will be fast. And it's going to open up on localhost 5000. Now, if you've done a lot of .NET, you've probably seen this open up on 3000, but this opens up on 5000. And I got a little web app running here and I can see the different pages that I got running. And it's just ready up. It's a demo app. It's got some places for you to go to learn how to use ASP.NET. And it's ready for you to start adding your own code to it. So that's pretty cool. We were able to open a console app and run that from the command line if we want. And we can also run ASP.NET apps in here as well. So if you don't know ASP.NET or C Sharp, I'm doing an event tonight live streamed on YouTube where I'm going to teach the intro and basics to C Sharp in the beginning and then do a little bit more advanced stuff for people who already know how to code uh, at the end. So join that, and if you miss it, you'll be able to watch it on YouTube at any time, and I uh, look forward to it and see you there. So see you soon.